Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue Darkness Falls into episode 10. We need to address the whole moving situation because uh, two episodes ago, we stumbled upon the cathedral and the movie theater, and so I pitched it to you guys in a vote, and overwhelmingly the response was in favor of moving into the cathedral and kind of sticking with the whole living in a church religious theme. And shortly after I filmed that episode, I received word that Father Glock has taken up arms in Darkness Falls, and now the crusade has begun. So, so I jumped on over to Google to see if I could find myself like a nice sounding ecclesiastical title, and I did settle on brother. However, the definition of brother in the Catholic Church is a man who is has vowed to poverty, celibacy, and obedience. Uh, we're gonna have to roleplay that one a little bit. It'll be Father Glock and Brother Temriki purging the land of this undead demonic scourge on holy, consecrated ground. <laughs> Honestly, I'm super happy that we're both sort of set on this same theme. I mean, the whole like holy warrior thing, it's just too good to pass up in Darkness Falls and I really don't think that you can get enough of it. There were so many comments in the video where I proposed the, the move and, and tried to get like an idea of where you guys wanted to take the series. And a lot of people suggested that we live in the cathedral, but we build a separate horde base from the ground up in the movie theater and kind of separate the two. Honestly, guys, I don't really know. That's just like a lot of work and a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of time. And that's exactly why we're going to do it. So anyway, I'm incredibly excited to get started on that cathedral and on my own personal base build. And I'm actually incredibly excited to see what Father Glock, what kind of holy instruments of destruction he can come up with as well. And who knows, maybe someday we can arrange for a pilgrimage. We're gonna need quite a bit more steel because the vehicle I want to make for the big move is this UAZ. I think it's the cheapest vehicle to make. And um, from some testing that I did, it's uh it has basically all the vehicles have the same storage capacity except for the the box van i think it is which uh we we don't we can't make that what is it the box box truck yeah this one right here this has like excellent storage but we can't make it until we are a master mechanic so that reminds me you guys let me know how how do i get the master book do i have to buy that from someone because it's 10 skill points that's very expensive but is there like maybe Trader Bob, does he sell that at some point? Do I have to like do all of his quests to do that? Please explain that to me. There's a whole bunch of mods that I want to get. Should have plenty of general schematics to get that accomplished. Like to get a couple of magazine extender mods. Really, I want to put those onto the, the turrets, the junk turrets. But I kind of also want one for the AK-47. Oh, and that reminds me, I did put um, a spike mod and the blessed metal mod here onto the baseball bat, but then people were telling me in the comments that the steel knucks are way better than the baseball bat, albeit the baseball bat has better range, and so probably on Horde Night the baseball bat's going to be better, but just in terms of rolling day to day, maybe we should focus on the steel knucks a little bit more. Perhaps if I crafted one or two of them, I could then combine them to get an even better one. Let's try and make... Uh, I don't I, I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do it, but I'm going to make two and just combine them and see how that turns out. And I'll combine them with this one as well. All right, supercharger mod, go. And while I'm right here thinking about it, I was just hungry and I ate and I wanted to check on my wellness. Today, my wellness is 205 and it should be, I think, 240 would be my max because... You get, it's 200 is the max, but then you get plus 20 for every point of health nut, and I have two, so that's 240. So we should be aiming for 240. And then there's some like weird biological technology, transhuman crap. I don't even want to get into that just yet. 
Okay, I think all of my knucks are done. So let's start combining these. We should have four sets. We'll see what we can do here. Take the die and the mods off before you combine your stuff, I hear. So we'll combine these to get a 23. 24. 25. Okay, so not, not terribly good, but better than nothing. But uh, that's enough of this crap here. I'm getting a little bored of this. So let's head up to the... Horde base, let's get some building supplies and we'll head over to the Horde base. Okay, here we are. Damn it, get rid of all these guts. And what I need to do first is, I just wanna get the floor upgraded to concrete. And then I just wanna get the stairs upgraded to concrete as well. And then like the most critical part of the ramp, I wanna get that upgraded too. And just the most critical part of the fighting position as well. I'm trying to be very conservative with my concrete because we're going to need so much concrete. So what I've done is I actually, I drew out and I have actually built in creative mode the, the new base. So I, you know, that's what I do in my spare time. I just <laughs> build crazy bases. So I have built the base that we're going to be building. And by my estimation, it's going to require something on the order of 3,000 concrete blocks to make. All right, now the last thing I wanted to really try, I'm gonna just gonna do a little bit of an experiment. I think I'll just line this area over here. I don't even expect the zombies. Well, they might come over here and do some beating on the wall. So this is where I want to beef up the defenses a little bit. Make it a little bit less likely that they can break these blocks and mess up their sort of pathing on the way out. And this is our last board here. So, you know, <laughs> once this, once we view the aftermath, we're not gonna fix it. We're just gonna leave. There we go. That's pretty much it. So the, like I said, just an experiment. But one additional thing that I know you can do is you go into your triangle blocks and you get this plate diagonal filler and you sneak it right in there. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay though. And then you can just make like a nice, uh, it's just you know easier on the eyes, kind of fill in that little piece like that. So that's what we're going to be doing from now on and that's what we'll do at the future bases. Uh, this is kind of like my new patented style, you could say. We gotta head up into the fighting position here because the zombies wandered their ass in here the other day and messed some stuff up, so we gotta fix it. So I would say that spitting was definitely an issue on the last horde, but um, so probably for the future horde base, I'm going to narrow the fighting window and hopefully that will prevent uh, so much spit from coming through. Give us more of a chance to kind of like dodge it and like hide on the side. You know what I mean? Okay, I think we're pretty much all upgraded to my liking. I don't think we're going to have any issues for this horde unless like demons show up or something. <laughs> I don't really know what to expect. Probably exploding dogs from what I saw earlier. Ooh, finally got a couple zombies over there. It's been a very quiet morning, I would say. Might just take a... Whoa! Oh, that was close. I tried to do some parkour. I need to get some parkour points, man. It's killing me. All right, let's try out the new blessed metal. Yeah, it works good, I'd say. Ah, airdrop. Oh, I don't even have to go look for it, do I? I just kind of look at the map. Where is it? Ah, there it is right there. Nice. Oh, good deal. Someone told me in the comments that if you log out and log back in, the marker will go away. So maybe we do have to prioritize like going to fetch it the same day. All right, let's get that UAZ going. UAZ chassis. Uh, wait a minute. Why can't I make it? Oh, is it, is it, is it a workbench thing? Yep, it apparently is. Craft that up. And I think with that, we're pretty much good to go. I've used up basically... <laughs> The majority, well, all of my uh, mechanical parts, all, most of my, oh geez, we're like so low on everything. Great. We will do some mining at some point. For now though, let's get the hell out of here. Supercharger here onto the bike. And we'll head over, I think, first today and see Razor. No, first we're going to go get that airdrop. So before I forget, we're going to do the airdrop and then we'll go see Razor. See how fast this thing goes now. Yeah, this goes fast. Whoa, this is insane. I need to find a ramp. Ah, look out. Whoa, oh, cool. got good brakes though. Aha, that's one of our restore power quests right here on the right. Oh damn, taking out hay bales with the bike now. Yes, yes, so much easier, I love it. Here we go. 
Oh, wow, really good baseball bat. Did I just like change over my primary weapon and now I'm gonna have a much better baseball bat? No, nope, that bat's not significantly better, I would say. Oh well. Whoa, here we go. Just give me a job, man. Try not to get me killed. What happened? Uh, clear the outpost. What is that? Clear the outpost right here. Head to the rally point, way down there. Is that a clear quest? We'll find out. So one thing I'm curious about here in Darkest Falls is uh, someone did leave a comment and said that uh, they're worried that I'm not advancing the storyline quickly enough and that if I wait too long to advance the story, it'll become you know, increasingly difficult to finish it. Like, am, am I doing the wrong thing by doing like traitor quests and Svenja quests? Like, I, I don't really know um, in terms of pacing, if I'm doing the right thing here or if I'm hurting myself. So if you have any feedback for me, let me know. Now, usually worth it to clear the area just a little bit first. If I don't, they're just gonna come after me. Oh, look, <laughs> there is a survivor over there. He looks like he's gonna tie down those zombies though, so let's just hit it. I don't know that I've ever been here before either. Oh, getting ambushed already. Hello, Arlene, good morning. Oh, Feral, and another one. Breaking these new nuts. Ah, oh, nice try. Oh, mechanical parts, really needed those. If you look at the Knuckles, one of the advantages is that they have a really good attack rate and really low stamina use. And so that has to factor into your decision to use them or not. Basically like critically low on every single resource. And it's not gonna get any better anytime soon either because we have just so much stuff to continue crafting. And soon here, we're gonna have the uh, advanced forges and we'll need even more materials. It never ends, it never ends. Ooh, this place is busy, isn't it? Here, close that door behind me. Ah, first skill point of the day. Whoa, really good SWAT helmet too. Oh, we got a rad coming. No, sir. Whoa, barrel. Crap. Whoa, hello. Sit down, buddy. Whoa, feral again. Oh, these feral strippers just fist them. Bird flaps, get him. Wow, man, Savage Country hooking me up. Oh, helmet light, oh, that goes back to episode one when I gave myself one helmet flashlight under the promise that I would get rid of the first one that I found, so there it is, promise fulfilled. Uh, boss fight? Sounds like it, aha. Come on, just kill him real quick, come on, there we go. Where's the rest? They're all in here. Feral, priority number one is the green guy. Oh, then the glitchy looking nurse. Get out of here. Eat that. Here we are. Lucky looting goggles on for this adventure. And I'm hungry. Some coil rounds. Ooh, vehicles for dumb shits. Uh, I don't know what that increases actually. That increased Grease Monkey? That unlocked the old semi in the work truck? Did, did, or did I take that point? I, I know, I think it increased this. I think this is the vehicles for dumb shits tree right here. Well, fair enough, save me a skill point. Four bottles of acid, that is a good find. All right. Another pump shotgun I can use to repair the one I'm using. 
And otherwise, that looks like about it. The quest is not over, though. We have not cleared the area. Come on, where are you guys? Aha! Oh, I found him. Good morning. Oh, wow. Steel armor. Good find. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've searched this. Yeah, this whole area is unsearched. Ah, there we go. We're, we're all clear now. Ooh, diazepam. Yes, benzos. All right, we are quite a bit encumbered, so probably just a good idea to get the hell out of here at this point. Goodbye. Oh, good thing it's not Grand Theft Auto where you just get launched off if you crash. Well, the good thing is now that we have a really, really fast mode of transportation, like coming back to see Razor for quests and stuff later on shouldn't be too, too much. Ooh, oh my God, 26 grenades or a 225 pistol. Oh, or the Blessed Metal mod. Oh God. Then I could have two weapons with Blessed Metal. I don't think that's craftable, is it? I'm gonna take it. I think that that gives us a lot more longevity in terms of like damage dealt. Let me know what you think of that decision though, okay? So, cause I'm not sure if that was worth my time or not. Hey, quest, introducing Eve. Who's that? Where is Eve? Introducing Eve, right there, okay? Make that active. Seven kilometers, what? That is to the south. Okay, actually we're moving to the south, so that might be close by. Um, ooh, way, way, way to the south, okay. Eve, I think Eve is actually an NPC like him. He's like a new NPC that's gonna give me more quests for the storyline. So the fact that we're moving right here, this is gonna be our home, home location. I'll put a little waypoint on there with a little house to make it nice, nice and cozy. Home base right there, you know, cathedral here on your right and movie theater here on your left. And so that'll be good to be more centrally located so we can go hang out with Eve and uh, are you gonna give me any more quests? Do you have any jobs introducing Eve? No, I think, does that mean that we're done with Razor? Are, are we good with him now? Can we go do some quests for Eve now? And, and, and that's how the story progresses. Do I need to keep doing uh, quests for Svenja? What do you think about that? What if I look at my faction reputation? What would that look like? White River faction, oh, 16. Oh, hello. No, 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 get away. All right on the safety of my motorcycle that now goes 90 miles an hour. Well, you know, it's nightfall and uh, I'm full of stuff, so I'm gonna go ditch my stuff and then we're gonna go do a restore power quest for Svenja. All right, looks like this is the place right here. A little bit of a farm. I think I've done this before, at least on multiplayer. Not sure if I've done it solo yet. Uh, I want the bike in a good position to escape. That should be pretty good right there. We've got a dire wolf over there, so I'm going to knock him out real quick. Good, good. And this is not the kind of mission I'm going to be like harvesting or picking through things. I'm just here to restore the power and get the hell, out well, get the main loot and then get the hell out of here. All right, let's get this over with. Where's the generator? Generator is right over here. We've got to clear the area though, so we got to go through the whole POI. It starts up here. Oh, it's raining. Great. All right, I know that there's a sneaky zombie here, so we're gonna just sneak attack him with the crossbow. All right, let's move right along here. No time to dwell. Wolves outside. Ah, there's a big ambush waiting for me up here. Let's go dark for this really quickly. Ha! Okay, here they are. Well, that wasn't too bad. I've suffered far worse up here before. Who's in there? I know someone's in there. Yep. Oh, just a couple barrels. Yep, no big deal. Get out of here. Ah, Arlene, you're not dead. Damn it. Ooh, concrete. Oh, the dog. Oh, the wolf. Oh, geez. Ah, uh, bad idea. It's all right, we got the blessed metal. Helps if it's loaded, though. Just where's the wolf? Uh, this is gonna be bad here. Here, get me some guns. Ah! Whoa, oh God. 
So many of them! Junkie, what are you shooting? Oh, just a whole fucking bunch of zombies! Get back, Bo! Mo, who are the fuck you are? Why? Why are there so many zombies here? Here. Um, damn it! Why is the block damage so low? Get back! Knock out the stairs! Get that loot! Knock the stairs out! No! Reload! Ah! There he is! Fucking wolf! Really, the only thing I was worried about. <laughs> wow. Okay, looking better. We do have birds somehow. I think a freaking wandering horde wandered by. Whoa! Hello, everyone. Get back, researcher man. One of those situations where I need a little bit of range for the melee. Now I can't even reach these guys. All right, let's just continue, shall we? We've got the guns. Just uh, frame that doorway there while I get this loot container open. Good. Ooh. Oh, armor shredder mod. Um, reduces protection of armor by 10% and stacks to a maximum of 60%. Oh, so you want to put that on things that you want to kill, like when you're trying to kill the demo or something like that. Ah, farming tips. Uh, farming tips perk by level one per... I don't think I need that, do I? I'll read it anyway. Next, I think my far I don't I don't use the farming tips because I have the the living off the land or like the farming class. Hello. Oh, ooh, what Ash's chainsaw? What is that? Um, hail to the king, baby. I, is this like a legendary weapon? Should I should I give this a, a whirl real quick? I think I will. I think I'll just give it a quick try. What does this feel like? Feels like a chainsaw. It's a bladed weapon, so I'm not really specced into it, but it might be fun to use. Works on wood. Ooh, well that worked really well. Damn! Alright, bring it on! Oh, this is pretty fun, actually. I mean, the chainsaw's kind of janky, but I like this. Get back. Wow, man. I just ripped right through that guy. An armored feral soldier. Oh, here's the generator. Uh, everyone's trying to get in here now. This uh, makes a lot of noise when you're doing the whole generator thing, so it attracts in a lot of zombies. Get out of here. Did the bird die? Where's the bird? Ah, ah there he is! Alright, let's do this! Ah! Wake up, everyone! Oh, man. Fortnite is gonna be so fucking fun. The quest is over. We just need to get our loot and we can head home. I think it's morning. I'm not sure. In the heat of the battle, I thought I heard the, the ding-dong of the morning bell, but not exactly sure. Okay, as is custom, lucky looting goggles on. Okay, nothing crazy here. Oh, safe cracking for dumb shits. Increases lock picking by one. I'll take that. Nope, that's the morning bell right there, and I think with that, that we're good. I'll take the polymer or paper or whatever the hell's in those, and we can go home. Let's just try this. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm stuck. All right, so now everything is put away. I think I'm just going to spend uh, a little bit of the morning here getting things organized, kind of some boring, monotonous, the things I usually do at nighttime when I'm not doing Restore Power Quests. And uh, I want to do some combining. I want to get this simplified. We need to kind of condense down the inventory a little bit so I don't have to make 11 trips back here to get all of our inventory over to the new city. So things like combining all of these stun batons. And, uh, and then we'll go make a trader run. So we'll pick things up in a couple of hours.
Okay, I think that just about does it. Now, the only thing left to do is probably get things packed up a little bit. I've got the UAZ right here, so we'll put that down outside, put some fuel in it. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. I like it already. Yeah, damn, it is a gas guzzler too. I just put 2,500 in it. It looks like it can hold 10,000. I don't want to use all my fuel just yet. As long as it gets us to our destination, I should be happy with it. So what we're going to do this morning is head over to the trader. I need to dump off all of the sellable inventory. Hello, so, Jen. Oh, uh, we're today? turning in a quest, I guess. Oh, we, we cleared an area somewhere. I don't remember where. I've been blowing through the schematics pretty quickly, so let's take those. You know, she bought a little bit. Not too much, though. Great job. It's going to have to be the reflex site in this case. Now I'll take another... Oh, she's giving me tier fours now. Starving tourists. You know, those aren't too Can bad. I trust you? I, we'll give it a try at some point. I imagine they're all rads, probably. Oh, I got another level up. I have three skill points. Okay, we will spend those. I don't know if we'll save them all because I, I really want to spend like... I want to have a huge shopping spree after the horde because we're going to get like seven from that too. All right, what do you got, buddy? Tell me you got a generator. That's what I really want. Now, yet again, he has the turrets that I want, but he does not have a generator. And I don't think he's going to really want to buy much of this stuff. Well, I take that back. All right, since nobody wants these damn bellows, I don't want them either. Get rid of all these freaking bellows. Man, it is 11... Oh, six. Oh, what do I need for food here? Some salmon? I, I want to stock up on these because I know they're going to be used in recipes at some point. So I'll grab all of them. Okay. Not the cat food and dog food. We, I'm done with the cat food. That's what got me killed early on. Okay, probably not a good time to be doing questing and stuff like that. So let's do some mining. Oh, but there is the starving tourist thing. And I'm very curious to see what that's all about. So, <laughs> Let's try it. You know, worst case scenario, I just jump on the bike and run away. Okay, I'm not afraid of doing that. Take care of that guy real quickly. No, he's still alive. Eat that. Um, okay, I do have the rock I can jump up on. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what I'm going to do with the three skill points? I'm going to just, uh, you know, I, I was talking earlier. I was just going to take him into parkour. Let's just do it now. Get it over with. That gives me the a little bit extra jump height. Less likely to break my leg or take fall damage. So let's hope for the best here. In fact, I'm just going to set the junk turret up for a uh, for covering fire up here. And then let's see what happens here. Tier 4, surviving, uh, starving tourists. Yep, they're rads. All rads. Yep. Oh, only like five of them, though. Get out of here. Oh, no, oh, they hit hard. Ow. Junkie, come on, wake up. Hit up. Oh, they don't fall down. They have stun resistance. Yikes. Ah, ow. Ouch. Okay, they're just regenerating. We need to get guns out. Oh, damn, they have a thousand hit points each. Oh, they regenerate so fast, too. Well, there we go. That wasn't too bad. All that for a tier four rule. You know, these are like just exponentially easier than doing a whole restore power quest at night. Now we can do some mining. That was a screamer up there. Uh, my luck with screamers when the junk turret shoots at them is very bad, so I'm getting the fuck out of here right now. Ah! Ah! Bear! Fucking zombie bear! No! No! Reload! Oh, fucking night stalk! Ah! Oh, man. Okay. Major lesson learned there. Okay. Oh my god, was not expecting a zombie bear and a night stalker there. I knew though, I didn't hear the screamer scream, but I knew as soon as she starts taking damage, she screams for all intents and purposes. Uh, just giving, like, damaging her at all without knocking her down is a death sentence. So, give me my stuff. It looks like they did despawn. I don't see them anywhere anyway. So I did get myself a fair good amount of iron and a little bit of nitrate, good amount of stone. We're gonna need so much stone. Man, I'm so glad <laughs> we're not playing on permadeath because stuff like that completely takes me by surprise. All right, where's my uh, my, my coal mine? Probably wanna do some coal mining. 
Okay, so uh, what did I learn there? I learned that you should probably spread out your mining a little bit. Maybe mine somewhere for two minutes and then move on to the next node. I think that's going to be how you have to do it. Oh, and there you go. My uh, auger is broken. Well, we'll see what we get for a reward for our efforts today. Ooh, a really good pump shotgun. Yes, please. I'll take another job. Why not? Do the nurses, maybe? Because the Can nurses are going to be rads. We know that now. Okay, getting late-ish. I think we'll call it right there. Call it a day. We'll go start getting ready. We'll get, get packed up, ready for the move, and then ready for the horde after that. Whoa! Oh, swow! Did you see that? That was awesome! All right, my friends, the hour is late, I think. Yep, it is almost time. The UAZ is pretty much all packed up and ready to go, just with the essentials, and I will bog down the inventory in a little bit, but I think it is time to get up into position and get ready. Oh, crap, that reminds me. There was one little thing that I did want to do before the horde today, and that is to carve a little hole here. That should be good right there, and then I was gonna put, like, a bar in front. Upgrade that just a little bit, and then I can put one of my turrets. See, we'll put uh, we'll put the purple one down here, because this is the one that's all modded up and, and really good. And then we'll put this one up on the roof to defend against the birds. Now, in a perfect world, in the next base, I'm going to have a better system for this. Yeah, ideally, we don't want to have to come up here to change the ammo on that, and I'm hoping I can arrange for something a little bit better at the next base. But for now, it is what it is. It's going to have to do. All right, I brought with me a lucky blueberry pie and some a pear smoothie, I guess. <laughs> Wash that down, and uh, we'll, take a, we'll have to drink a couple coffees here throughout the night to keep the stamina up and keep the hydration up. All right, it is starting to rain, and I'm sensing that the horde approaches. It's time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Here they come. They're starting to come thick. It was a little trickle at first. Oh, we got a Night Stalker out there. I saw him. All right, let's knock a few of these guys down. Get them off of this, uh, get them off the corridor, and then we can start throwing uh, pipe bombs and stuff down into the pit below. Just gonna wait for, ooh, off with his leg. Nice. We've got birds above. Looks like Junk Turret's doing some good work. How's the pit looking? Looking pretty good. We'll get a pipe bomb or two down there for him, Steve. Why? Get down in the hole. Got the new Magnum out. I put the Field of Heat mod onto this. Oh, man, that's one of those radiated vultures. Luckily, he wasn't puking at me. Get back. Should be filling up down here. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Look at it down there. Watch the XP bar. Ooh, nice. No cops tonight. We had three last time, so I'm surprised to not see any just yet. Just roll with that power attack. Night Stalker there. Fortunately, they're falling down really, really nicely. Get those knockdowns in. Oh, a whole bunch of Night Stalkers here. Just get the shotgun out for them. I'm not messing around with Night Stalkers tonight. All right, they've fallen down. Pipe bombs. Two at a time. Oh, look at the XP bar. Okay, so the rads are still alive. The rads are not dying. They need more pipe bombs. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna risk it here. Try to get a molly down there. Ooh, good throw, nice. Looks like we need a reload over here on the junk turret. Where is it? Right there. Oh, I hear blocks breaking. They are breaking parts of the wall, it looks like. Not too big of a deal, I don't think. All right, let's have a look down here. Right full of zombies, as usual. Let's get maybe, we'll do two sets. Let it refill just a little bit. Look at it fill up. Whoops, I almost uh, had that blow up in my hand. That would've been bad. Let's try the uh, Ashes Chainsaw. Eat this. 
Ha ha! Oh my god, this works good. It's got the range too, I love it. Chainsaw base, coming up, baby. Just get the knockdown, that's all this is good for. Just knock him into the pit, and then you step back, get a Molotov, pray that you don't nick the edge of the wall, light him on fire. Ah, freaking birds, man, there's so many of them. Junk turret actually having a hard time because they have so many hit points, but there you go. All right, so far, it's seemingly a very quiet night. Oh, why are there no zombies down there? Um, concerning. Ooh, look at the orange loot bags. There's a couple down there now. Here, have this. Oh, just watch the XP go up every time I throw stuff down there. It's so nice. All right, time for some attack assault rifle, which interestingly is using the 9 mil ammo type. Uh, junk turret up there, out of ammo. Junk turret down here, also out of ammo. Okay. We need to buy ourselves a little bit of time here and run down there and, and or run around and fix everything here. Um, what's going on here? Still has 19,000 hit points. I think we're good to go on a little bit of an expedition. Just clear the birds out. Okay, looks good. I'm just going to refill this one, run up here, grab that. Ah, bird! No, 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 no. Get out of here. Ow. Just put this down, and I'll bring the other one with me, and we'll just set this one up down here. Uh, what if I just put it right there? Is that gonna help me at all? Maybe. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. Still no cops. Uh, nothing that's explosive, as far as I can tell. No exploding dogs, no exploding demos, no exploding cops. I like it. Just lots and lots of Night Stalkers. This is like the Night of the Night Stalker. Whoop, something blew up. I heard something. Not sure what it was. All right. Let's just try to lob the Molotovs out there. I'm starting to give myself anxiety throwing them over here. Whoa, Night Stalkers galore down there. Eat that. Have another couple. One more for good measure, but really just because I want to put the grenades down here now. There we go. Have one of these too. Oh my God. So many Night Stalkers down there! Kill them! I'm sensing that we're gonna run out of turret ammo, and I don't- Oh, I got a bear! What? Whoa! Look out! Those guys are fucking dangerous! Set them on fire! Don't set me on fire! There we go, good! Is the bear down there? Where did he go? There he is! Oh, shit! Stay back, okay, stay back, because they can actually reach through here and do damage. Okay, he's in the pit now, he's dead. Oh my god, zombie bears on Horde Knight? I love it. Zombie vultures? Uh, not so much. Also, turret ran out of ammo again. I wonder, can I actually... Oh, I can actually set him down through the bars. I didn't even know that. I can grab him and set him down through the railing. Perfect. Whoa, though, that's just getting really bad out there. Also getting really bad over here. Uh, I'm not liking this anymore. Ah, bird, why? Turrets are now on bird only duty. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, just work on these guys for just a second. Throw a grenade down into the pit, which is absolutely rife with night stalkers. That's it, that helps. Wow, that almost gave me half a level there. Let's try that. Oh, why are you here? No, 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 no. Get back, son of a bitch. They are fucking with my van! Ah! Oh my god. Wow. This is getting crazy now. Stuff is now blowing up a lot. 
Um, turrets, shoot the fucking birds, man! Another bear! Oh, stand back. Was that a demo? Um, did I just hear a demo? Oh, Bubbles is back. Get out of here, Bubbles. Yes, there's a demo! Oh, shit! That would be the corridor. That's not good at all. Okay, we need to do stat renovations or repairs, whatever you want to call it. We've got, oh my god, the whole corridor has been taken out. Um, what am I going to do now? Okay, put a block there. Ow, oh shit, this is really bad. Really, really bad. Okay, upgrade the whole um, corridor thing here. Okay, and then we've got to build another corridor for them. Just like so. Kind of. And hope that I can upgrade this in time. Yes! That, that's... They like that? <laughs> oh, this is bad. We've gotta do this for... Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade! And fucking run! Close the hatches! Okay, the corridor's back in business. Oh god, why are there demolishers here already? This part of the horde is really, really crazy! Yes, the cops are here now! Oh man. Um, birds, yes. No, I don't have any more turret ammo. Just shoot them, and... Can I reload? Do I have any? I have no ammo. No ammo left for turrets. And no iron in my inventory. All the iron is in the freaking UAZ! I hear another demo. We need to be super careful. Okay, grenade, grenade, grenade. Just throw lots of grenades. Yes. Lots and lots of grenades. Just blow them all to hell. Still no idea where the demo is. It's concerning to me. Also, there's no more ramp. The ramp is gone. Yep. Bad. Here, everybody just get set. Oh, ow, that hurt. Could you stop that? Ow, but now I'm on fire. Okay, just go. Oh, yep, just dodge. Just dodge. Ow. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Okay, I need to take a break now. First aid break. Oh, they're messing up the ceiling. Oh my god. Coffee. Oh, it's morning. We've made it! Oh, shit! We just gotta get the zombies back up here. And we are good to go. Yes. Yes, that is correct. You are doing the right thing. But I need you to take it easy for a second. Ow! Oh, shit! Oh, I fell! Oh, just run. Just run. Just keep running. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. The UAZ didn't blow up. Right. I need to get back in the base. And um, it looks like I can maybe get that done. Here, upgrade that. Youch! Ah, I'm back. I'm back inside. It's okay. I'm gonna make it. I'm shaking, but I'm gonna make it. Ow! Stop spitting on me. <laughs> oh man, bandages. Painkiller. I, I'm overdosing. I can't do it. Oh man, at least they're going very slow. So I can kind of maybe take my time a little bit. Oh my god. I can't even see, it's so yellow! The spit! It's everywhere! Ow! No! No blowing up! Well, I really don't care, but I, for the most part, I just don't want you to destroy the corridor any more than you already have. Ah! I, it's literally so bright, I can't even see with cop acid. Yeah, my base is falling apart. There's a demo here again! Yep, there he is. Armor Shredder, get him! He's down. Okay, I think most of, if not all, of the cops are down. Okay, just working on some Night Stalkers now. Yes. Let's just jump down here, and we'll take these guys 1v1. There's a screamer. Got her. Did she scream? Any fucking bears coming up on me? Yes, I think she did scream, because the- Yo! Wow! Okay. Lots of zombies are running up on me. Ow! Getting flanked! Holy cow. Holy shit, man. I think it is just about over. Wow. Oh my goodness, man. That was absolutely insane.
Okay, just real fast, gonna put some storage chests up and we are going to loot up here in just a minute. Okay, put everything away and looting goggles back on and let's loot up before these things despawn. That was a sandwich, steak sandwich, eat that. Desert vulture! Titanium pants. Whoa, look at all the loot that fell down here. Oh my God, it's such good stuff. I don't even know what half of it is, but I gotta go stash stuff. Here, read this damn book. Ah, I'm infected, shit. To the loot chest, put everything away. All right, so right off the top here, they did not go down into the crafting area, it looks like. I think I did get all of the loot bags. Oh man, what a mistake it was not to upgrade everything to concrete and to sort of assume that everything was going to work out just fine. Yep, that was, that was great. Great decision there. But nobody came down here. Everything was already pulled up anyway. I'll grab the remainder of my resources. Turn that off. I'll just leave those two big forges. We'll be back for them some other time. I think I'll just uh, use the one big forge that I took and, you know, get the advanced forges after that. Speaking of that, what level did we make it to? 54 and we have a bunch of, oh my God, 11 skill points to spend. Well, it's gonna be easy. First two right there into parkour. I'll take the third into sexy T-Rex. Let's go ahead and max out health nut. Let's max out quicker crafting. I'll take one into Iron Gut. And the big one right here, the Advanced Forge. We really, really want that. Kitchens for dumb shits, that'll allow me to unlock the oven. That'll be fun to use. I think with my last remaining skill point, I'll just go one more into Iron Gut, seeing how we have the uh, Sexy T-Rex maxed out. We'll be using our hunger a lot more. I'll give you just a quick peek at all of the loot here. Off the top here, ooh, coil shotgun. I'll have to look into that. Some farming books, okay. M4A1 automatic assault rifle. I think that's pretty good. Oh my God, there's just so much to go through. I got some auto shotguns, some titanium armor. I think that's probably good. It sounds good. And that's all my stuff right there. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get everything set for the move. It's probably gonna take um, several hours. So in the next episode, we will pick things up to get everything moved over to the new base. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. I'll be back again soon for the next episode and I hope that you'll join me again. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. While you're waiting for the next episode, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who have made this channel what it is today. My name is Tamreki, and I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I'll see you in the next one.